Welcome to the 20th lecture on digital simulation. In the previous lectures, we have seen numerical methods to solve ordinary differential equations. We have seen methods like a backward Euler technique, a forward Euler technique, trapezoidal method and a backward differentiation formula of the second order. Now we will see how to use these methods to solve transient, uh, transients in electric circuits. So we, we have already studied modified nodal analysis and a sparse tableau approach to write equations representing an electric circuit. So these uh, methods can be applied to circuits which will result in a set of differential equations and algebraic equations. So the differential equations are represented by uh, the first one f of x dash comma x comma y comma t equal to zero so there are two uh, there is a time t represents a time variable and there are two other variables x and y and x appears in uh, its first derivative also so it becomes a differential equation and there is a second set of equations uh, in those equations and there are no diff derivative terms or differentials so those equations corresponds to a set of algebraic equations so it is uh, represented as g of x comma y comma t equal to zero so in general in a in an electric circuit involving transients we will have differential equations and algebraic equations now we will see how to solve this system in this um, idea will be clear when we consider an example so consider this example where uh, there are capacitances C1 and C2 present in the circuit and that will introduce uh, transients. So this is C2. Okay, we have three nodes here. This node is having a voltage V1. This is second node with the voltage V2. This is third node with voltage V3. And current through the voltage source Vs is denoted as Is flowing in this direction. So now we can apply Kirchhoff's current law at each of these nodes and write the equations. Kirchhoff's current law at node 1 gives V1 by R1. V1 by R1 is the current flowing through this node and the current flowing through this resistance R1. And current flowing through this uh, source Vs is minus Is. Current flowing out from node 1 through this voltage source is minus Is this is equal to 0 and this 1 by R1 we can write it as G1 so G1 V1 minus Is is equal to 0 so G1 is the conductance of this resistance R1 so this is the first equation G1 V1 minus Is equal to 0 then similarly if you apply KCL at the second node uh, you can see that current flowing out from second node through this source is Is so first element is Is then current flowing through this capacitance C1 is C1 into dV1 V2 by dT C1 into dV2 by dT so that is C1 into V2 dash dV2 by dT is represented as V2 dash similarly current flowing out from node 2 through the C2 is C2 into d by dT of potential across C2 that is V2 minus V3 so C2 into d by dT of V2 minus V3 d by dT of V2 is V2 dash d by d2 v3 is denoted as v3 dash so this gives us the second equation similarly we can write kcl at node 3 so that will result in at node 3 the current flowing through c2 is c2 into v3 dash minus v2 dash current flowing out from node 3 through c2 similarly current flowing through node uh, flowing through resistance R2 from node 3 is G2 V3 dash G2 V3 V3 sorry V3 G2 V3 or V3 by R2 that is equal to 0 so that is written here so we have written three KCL equations now corresponding to this current through the uh, independent voltage source IS we can write one more equation that is V2 minus V1 uh, is nothing but Vs so V2 minus V1 is Vs so we have four equations and four variables the variables are V1, V2, V3 and Is 
so i have enlisted these four equations here now how to solve this uh, equations using backward Euler technique you can see that uh, in some equations are some equations are algebraic equations this is an algebraic equation this is also an algebraic equation but in the uh, second and third equations you can see there are v2 dash and v3 dash terms appearing there is derivatives coming in the second and third equation so they are differential equation these two are differential equations and the other two are algebraic equations so this is a differential uh, system of differential algebraic equations dae so now if you apply backward euler method the first equation will become g1 into v1 of n plus 1 v1 n plus 1 is the value of v1 at a t n plus 1 so it is denoted as v1 n plus 1 minus i is n plus 1 equal to 0 so we are writing the equations at t is equal to t n plus 1 instead so since this is an algebraic equation just substitute the values at n plus 1 instead then in the second equation uh, there is a change in the second equation we have derivative terms so these derivatives can be replaced by the definition in backward Euler method so in backward Euler we replace the derivative by so we will replace dx by dt by xn plus 1 minus xn by h by in backward Euler method this is equal to the function evaluated at xn plus 1 so here v2 dash is replaced by if you look at this second equation is is uh, the value of is at n plus 1 the instant is taken here is n plus 1 then c2 is a uh, constant into v2 dash v2 dash is nothing but v2 n plus 1 minus v2 n by h similarly v3 dash is v3 n plus 1 minus v3 n by h similarly here v2 dash is replaced by this quantity okay so now this will become an algebraic equation similarly the third differential equation can be converted using a backward Euler uh, using the backward Euler technique here v2 dash is replaced by uh, its definition v2 n plus 1 minus v2 n by h similarly v3 dash is replaced here and this v3 it will take the value at n plus 1 the instant similarly the last equation which is an algebraic equation will be v2 n plus 1 minus v1 n plus 1 is equal to vs n plus 1 so now if you look at the right hand side the four equations that I have written on the right side you can see all these are algebraic equations and there are four unknowns v1 n plus 1 v2 n plus 1 v3 n plus 1 and is n plus 1 so we have four algebraic equations in four unknowns so uh, this can be solved so it is a linear system so ax equal to b form that can be easily solved here v3 n v2 n v1 n all are uh, known because these are available from the previous step of integration or pre this is available from the previous uh, iteration previous step and if you are using trapezoidal method instead of backward Euler method for more accurate result then there is a slight difference in trapezoidal technique in order to solve dx by dt equal to f of x t comma x what we are doing is left hand side is replaced by xn plus 1 minus xn by h equal to right hand side is half of the slopes evaluated at the two ends n and n plus 1 so half into f of tn xn comma tn plus f of xn plus 1 comma tn plus 1 so f of xn comma tn in this case is nothing but xn dash because dx f is equal to x dash x dash equal to f in this case so xn uh, f evaluated at xn is nothing but xn dash similarly f evaluated at xn plus 1 is nothing but xn plus 1 dash okay now if you rewrite this equation you do some rearrangement you can see that xn plus 1 dash or derivative of x at the n plus 1 the instant is nothing but 2 by h into xn plus 1 minus xn minus xn dash this is obtained from by rearranging this equation so in the previous example 
instead of using backward oiler technique you can also use trapezoidal technique where uh, there is no change for this algebraic equation it remains the same g1 v1 minus is equal to 0 will become g1 v1 n plus 1 minus is n plus 1 equal to 0 whereas the second differential equation for the differential equation there is a change for this v2 dash what you have to substitute v2 dash is substituted by 2 by h into v2 n plus 1 minus v2 n minus v2 n dash this is from the this formula x n plus 1 dash derivative at the n plus 1 the instant is nothing but 2 by h into x n plus 1 value at x n plus 1 the instant minus value at n the instant minus derivative at the n the instant x n dash so that uh, result is used here v2 dash and v3 dash are replaced by the corresponding expressions and v2 dash is here and here so similarly you can uh, write the corresponding equations for the this third one and fourth one then you will get a system of equations in four variables v1 system of four equations in four variables v1 n plus 1 v2 n plus 1 v3 n plus 1 and the is n plus 1 and the way that can be solved then there this v2 of n dash v3 of n dash these values are already known because these are the values in the nth instant since we are solving the problem at n plus 1 instant the nth instant values are already available starting from the initial conditions okay so by substituting those values we can solve this so this is how uh, we can uh, do transient analysis in electric circuits using the numerical techniques that we have learned. Thank you.